Good afternoon. Well, I was going to go in and cook something, but I didn't feel like it, so I'm not going to do it. So I'm just going to talk to you. Uh, <clears throat> I was watching some YouTube videos this morning, and I came, came across a video by Granny Pat. She's an 87-year-old woman, and uh, she's got a YouTube channel. And she was talking about how much she enjoyed it, and she told some stories. And then I watched another video of a young man interviewing people about, um, you know, older people about how um, their thoughts about different things have changed, and what advice would they give uh, to a younger person. And I thought that was real interesting, and um, I said. I, I do spend a lot of time on YouTube. I mean, there's just so many things to watch. And, of course, I always look up aphantasia and no internal monologue. And uh, there's just a, a lot of things on there that you wouldn't even think about. Um, so I'm distracted because Petra is up here. Oh, I give her some love. But she won't stop. She'll just keep on and on. A hair flying everywhere. Oh, no. Oh. I guess I need to brush her. Uh, um, a couple of things I wanted to say about aphantasia is, um, you know, I've been watching the, the different YouTubes, and uh, some people say that they, they don't have a... a they can't remember smells or sounds. And I'm thinking, well, I don't know if I have that or not. I, I mean, if I'm not drinking coffee, I can't smell it. I mean, do you smell coffee if you're not around it? Or do you hear a train whistle if, you're, if there's no train around? I, I don't know. And then there's a, something else called SDAM which is an autobiographical biographical memory loss. And I'm thinking, I don't think I have, I don't think I have memory loss unless it's short term. <laughs> you know, I, I remember lots of memories from my childhood and all that. But, uh, but yeah, you know, aphantasia, I keep, I keep looking, hoping to find somebody that will, uh, share their experiences with me. I, I've seen a lot of YouTube videos of different uh, doctors talking about it, and uh, I understand some of what they're saying, but not all. And um, I mean, all kinds of people have aphantasia. There are people who are neuroscientists, there are artists and authors, illustrators. Um, you know, so it, it, it doesn't limit you. Uh, you just, your, your brain just works differently. And she's still at it, y'all. She still won't me to rub on her. Oh, anyway. Um, so, I, you know, it, it's just a fascinating thing to think there's between 2 and 5% of the population who has aphantasia. No, no pictures in my head. Now, I, when I dream, I, I d do dream in images. And um, when I wake up, you know, in the morning and before I become uh, wide awake, I can remember that I've been dreaming and can remember that I dreamed about you know, whatever. But uh, as soon as I'm fully awake, those images are gone. I, I don't see them anymore. And I usually don't remember much about the dream other than what it was about. And um, so, and, and, and aphantasia has nothing to do with intellect. You know, there are lots of smart people out there. Um, and my God, she's so persistent. <laughs> uh, um, gets me. Uh, 
can't think. Um, what else did I want to say? Um, mm, really distracted. I can't. I can't bring it back up in my my photo album in my brain because there's not one up there. Uh, let's see. I think it was something about aphantasia. Um, well, I can't remember, so I guess I'll just let that go. <coughs> um, but anyway, uh, I did buy some blackberries, so I'll be <coughs> making some blackberry cobbler here in the next day or two. And, uh, and I think I might make some dinner rolls. I really love bacon bread. That's, that's one of the things I love to do. Uh, when I was 13, my my mother let me cook. I begged her, really. I begged her to let me cook Thanksgiving dinner for the family. Her her two brothers and their their families came out. And I cooked a turkey and a, uh, a ham. I decorated the ham, you know, with pineapple and cherries and cloves and um, made homemade pies and homemade rolls and all the side dishes and everything. And Mama kept coming in there saying, here, let me help you or let me show you how to do this or that. You know, I said, no, Mama, because if you do it, then it means that I didn't do it. You know, so she was always good about letting me get in the kitchen, you know, and, and cook. And uh, I really cooked some bombs, too. And my daddy would eat them all. And, oh, some of it, some of the stuff I made was just awful. I'm going to tell you, it was awful. But he ate it anyway. And uh, so if you <clears throat> if you have a, uh, a child, a grandchild that has an interest in cooking, then take the time to show them <clears throat> how to, to make something. You know, my mother started me out when I was 11 making... Uh, pie crust and apple pies. Um, you know, you can show them how to make cookies or biscuits or, you know, a, a quick bread, um, muffins or, you know, something like that. And, uh, you know, but let them help you put the icing on the cake or decorate the cookies or whatever, you know. And if they have no interest in cooking later on, at least they'll have those memories of sharing that time with you. So I think I'm going to let that be the end of this video because I'm so totally distracted. So y'all have a good evening, a good afternoon, and be kind to somebody. There's somebody out there that needs your kindness today. And, you know, there's lots of different ways to show that kindness and just fit it to who you are. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.